All right, folks, listen up. Trivia time. Where did the independent man reside during his renovations in the 19, late 70s, early 80s? State House. Remember, it was the, he, he, remember he got struck by lightning and they put him somewhere for everybody to see? Where did he reside in City Hall? Newport? <laughs> no, we've had that answer twice. Uh, Roger Williams? I think on top of the state house. I got struck. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mall. That's right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. The mall? Very good. Very good. <laughs> See, yeah, we the second one the mall. The second one right. uh, either Warwick Mall or Rhode Island Mall. I don't remember which. It was the one that was northern. The one that was, I believe that was Warwick Mall. It was Warwick Mall. Um, I just caught your program tonight. I didn't get a chance to see the whole thing. I will be watching each week from now on. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, to my fellow Americans who are so upset with what's going on in Washington and the fact that our senators and our representatives and our president uh, don't seem to be listening to what we're telling them. They just seem to think that they just have an anarchy down there, I think maybe it's time that we have another Boston Tea Party. And I've noticed that online they're gathering strength. Um, just tuck a little tea bag in an envelope and send it to Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Langevin, and Mr. Reed, perhaps Mr. Kennedy. Uh, if he's ever in his office, he might receive it as well. Uh, maybe one to the president, certainly one to Miss Pelosi. And I believe Harry Reid, who thinks that he is the king, um, maybe he could get one too. Uh, if we would just go ahead and send everyone a tea bag, maybe they would stop and think that we're not too happy with them. And maybe they would remember what would happen, what happened the last time Americans were not happy with the king. Just a thought. We live in a place called America. The people are labeled in a new America. Social security, pursuing debt, voting booth gambling, place your bet. Worshiping politicians is hysterical. Do you think Obama's voice is magical? Promising health care with expensive cobra while drugs seized from Colombia? CIA brings the cops back to California, spreading addiction in a new slum area, blaming drug deals for the hysteria? Victimless crimes will encourage so-called criminals. Prison labor property is cynical. A new form of slavery incentive. Your care for prisoners is inattentive. When will your morals become illegal, or will you obey to bend over and spread evil? We cheer our constitutional rights away while fist clenching rosaries and pray. Why did the Catholic Church support Hitler, mesmerized by Pope glitter? The non-believers are much more rational. We spread peace and everything factual. Pledging to the flag and to God in schools, stand up, hand on the heart, and drool. Government education sheeps the masses, born out of our minds in history classes. 9-11 attacks us months later on paper, and then we turning Afghans into vapor. Founding fathers rolling in their graves, Patriot Act made their skulls concave. Sacrificing young adults in the Middle East, are you relative to a deceased? No, they'll send your kids to the war. No, they complex is rich because they're apathetic poor. Billions of dollars to make bombs dropping hellfire, hellfire just like Vietnam, over a million innocent dead in Iraq. Bush tells us the war is over while on crack. Obama promising returning home was clever because thousands of troops will be there forever. Take a look at who owns the media. The same elite with an agenda. Bilderberg, Illuminati, New World Order. We are changed, pulled up the video recorder. Writing on a notepad, the world is mad. TV telling us the truth is bad. Exploiting children with fads. Promoting the semi-automatic gun grabs. Filtering our web with Pfizer, lying W. Buying rounds from a black helicopter. Ultimate hunt, just like in Blade Runner. 
we're sacrificing liberty for a security status because you've been sold us out in the cold, plastic card debt slaves, virus, Miley Cyrus, new kick craze, Wall Street corruption, free trade. We call ourselves the home of the brave with a dozen troops lost today, crowd control, microwave heat ray, police and riot gear on a tasering spree. Puppeteered by the elite 33rd degree Homeland Security Chairman spies for Israeli Zionist ties, two party system full of lies, media pushing propaganda for the CFR influence agenda, Fox News talking points and finger points directed by President Paul Point. Will we see civil war or martial law, the sheep bod or Illuminati raw? Who does the judge support in the fax distorted court, hands restricted and controlled, it cuffs on your vocal courts, policed by warlords, riot control pushes forward with full riot gear, instigating fear that brings your eyes to tears by gassing the public. We've lost our republic. So face to face with tools, eyes, ears, and voices, the people will rule. No other choices. Are you ready to listen? Break away from this fascist system. They don't deserve our taxes, bailout causes, the market crashes. Here are the facts. Please don't have your backs. Not as it's a law of income taxing. Your cell phone has GPS tracking. Rick elections in the voting booth. 9-11 was inside job truth. Listen to the American youth. Now do a new world order Google search. Freedom in the future is with research. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org. <laughs>